What's up, oh. everybody? We here. EK is here with us, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna short down the EK. I feel like I'm familiar already. Like, what's up, EK? Like, I, I'm not that familiar. <laughs> Excuse me. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? All right. Um, my name's Equagan. Uh, a lot of people don't even know that's like my actual name. But um, yeah, that's my first name. Oh. Yeah. Um, I learned something new today. Same. Yeah. I was born in a country called Togo, which is in West Africa. Really so my parents moved to the U.S. when I was about ten. But yeah, that's like my like I use that name everywhere. It's just my first name. Wasn't taken. Yeah, wasn't taken. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't taken anywhere. If I, like, go somewhere and I'm, like, it says, like, the account already has been made, I was, like, oh, can I just hit forgot password? <laughs> <laughs> you just <laughs> <laughs> I respect me. that, yeah. man. So you're a Twitch ambassador. This is your first TwitchCon? Yeah. How's that feel? Uh, it's different, but I, I kind of enjoy it. Yeah? It's crazy, yeah. Like, I get to look back at, like, each year and each progress. At first, you feel like you're not getting anywhere. It's you Talk can kind of say that. the same thing, yeah. like almost like YouTube, right? You start you're like, man, I don't want to keep doing this. I don't see anything. Then eventually, it starts <laughs> to build. So that momentum, like, it starts up very slowly. Yeah. Before yeah. you know it, though, it's kind of just like, oh wow. Yeah. Ambassador, you know, love that for you. Congratulations. Yeah. Big so ups. your ambassador, what what have you been doing? I feel like you know you've been busy. How, how's the convention been for you? Uh, the convention, uh, honestly, has been keeping me in shape because I've been uh, on this like healthy kick. Let's just go. been walking everywhere. Like, I have a bag. And it's just like a water bag. And just make sure I'm hydrated. <laughs> I think the first day I didn't bring it with me. And I was like, I, I had a headache. And I was like, man, I don't know what's going on. It was because I was thirsty the whole time. Welcome to TwitchCon, yeah, dog. Yeah. I'm that's telling you right you know now. That's right. how you know you're doing it. Listen, I, that's the number one rule is people don't stay hydrated, man. Yeah. You get so caught up in meeting friends, going place to place. And you would think it would be this kind of thing you could just find anywhere. Like you just go, oh, water fountain, a water fountain. Instead, you have like pretzel stand and hot dog stand and Starbucks stand. And yep. I was like, I'm just for some water. You know what I mean? There's Red Bull on every corner. <laughs> on every corner, yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to drink some water. But you're doing the right thing. You brought your own bag. Yeah. Represent, man. I like yeah. that. I had to. It was, there was just no way. Because you're standing and you're talking with people. And you, before you know, you're like, Oh, what was, I, I was about to get some water, and then you're not getting water. You move <laughs> to the next thing. <laughs> I was gonna get some Th that's water. how the convention works. You're, you're on your way to one spot, but before you can get there, you're going on a bunch of mini quests, you know, yeah. side missions. That You made it to us, though, so I <laughs> yeah. appreciate I feel oh, like, yeah. how many detours? I took a few detours. <laughs> yeah. Met a few friends. Instead of, like, coming up this way, I had to go up, like, through the Artist Valley. Yeah. Did you get a chance to stop over there at the Artist uh, Valley yet? Yeah, I have. What do you think? I've seen a lot of cool things, but I'm like, man, I can't. I don't have any space. How do I bring right. this back? Right. Well, I almost want to buy it and then just ship it through the FedEx store. I was going to say that right now. They have yeah. a FedEx store right downstairs for that exact reason. Yeah. Really? Okay. So that that's new then. They, since when did we get a FedEx store here? Well, I mean, that Game Boy that I got last time, I shipped that back. I didn't take it with me. EK, I appreciate you hanging out with us. Yeah. I hate that he has to do this in front of you because you are our <laughs> guest. He takes every moment to be petty. That's why we do this together. I look forward to this every year. EK, I do have to ask, Destiny, because we saw your clips when you first came in. Yeah. And when it comes to Destiny, I'm like, online, I think of you. And there's someone... I don't know a lot about Destiny, and for those of you who aren't familiar with EK, tell, tell everybody a little bit about Talk yourself. About, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, my whole story with Destiny is pretty cool because when we did Battle of the Brands, I was representing Taco Bell. Um, when, I, when I was in college, I won a Destiny PlayStation from Taco Bell, and that kept me out of trouble, so I would play, like, in my room. That was, like, my introduction to, like, to Destiny. And, um, you know, I would just play for fun. And I had, like, when I graduated from college, I had, like, this corporate job, whatever. Things didn't work out, but I, I used to play Destiny all the time. My friends like, why don't you just stream it, right? And boom, that was it. Like, it was like a PlayStation. I got this little camera, placed it on the side, and that's how I started my journey, like, through Taco Bell. And it's That weird. was like a full circle moment. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. wild. Imagine, okay, one, I think it's cool that you won something, because usually people win and they swear, but you never meet anyone There's no that There's no record ever, of it. No right? milestones. Okay. No, no boulder. I did win twice. So did back to back? No. So I, I lived in New York, and I was like, okay, it costs too much here. So I moved into uh, Oregon, and uh, there was an Xbox One X that came out. Yeah. And like, whatever. I was just buying Taco Bell, and I won again. <laughs> but I was I was on PC at the time, so I gave it to my my roommate because uh, her and her husband they only have one system, so now they were able to play together. But no one believes nice me, you. and I was like. Only has it. Like, I gave it to her. Like, it was weird. I so wanted you have the again. Midas touch. I yeah. got lucky. I don't want anything else. But that 
that was like the so thing. So can like can you win us something like you? Oh, what's oh? Taco Bell might have rigged it. I don't know. <laughs> Are they getting back in touch with you still? Do they they still hit you up or anything? No. I, I, See, that's problem number one. Yeah. How are you going to have somebody who went to Taco Bell Tournament built their brand off of that, and then if you're watching right now, why don't you hit this man up? I don't understand. <laughs> Clearly, he's eating, he said he's eating the Taco Bell, right? He I, just went head to, I just went head to head with Taco Bell like two weeks ago. Shout out to Blaze Pizza. <laughs> you know, we, we just did this. We multiverse. I, I got an EK. Mm -hmm. Are you throwing sandwiches now? Did you figure out the sandwich? Oh, man. Okay, I figured it out. All I know is we got on, and I was like, everyone is supposed to be new. Everyone was like... Combo here, combo there. I was like, what? And then someone was like, just spam your jump kick. And I was like, cool. I won a match with that. I was like, this doesn't feel good. I feel like I'm cheating. Oh, yeah, I man. Like, so I spent the whole next match trying to throw a sandwich, which I, could, I couldn't get the sandwich How'd down. How'd that go? It went bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, that's the fighting game trick is when somebody tells you try this one move over and over again and it starts working, it feels nasty, doesn't it? Yeah, it I should have just kept that. Because I heard Shaggy was the most annoying person to play against. He and is. I should have just kept doing what he, you know, what he was supposed to do. Yep. That's the fighting In game In EK's defense, it was like, oh, no, it's just casual. Everyone doesn't play. Yeah. Everyone's happy to be here. When I tell you everyone came in perspiring yeah. before anything started, Extra I don't think sweaty. none of us slept yeah. after the first night. Yeah. I didn't. We all – did you Did you go to bed? A little bit, but I had to get on. That's get why my you levels. weren't throwing the sandwich. See? Yeah. <laughs> Look, the first day, I was like, people are level 36 already. What, what, what's yeah, going on here? Sweaty hours. Yeah. I don't fall for that anymore. People have <laughs> been doing that trick for years. Like, I've been playing a little bit. I'm not sure if I yeah. got it all down. I'm mostly just see how it goes. Nah. Nah, nah. That's, 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 that's the trick right there. They, they get you to get comfortable. Uh-huh. And then they just. They mix you, know, they, you up. Yeah, they get and abuse you. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, got to be as sweaty. Yeah. 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 No, yep. they act like they don't know where this skill comes from. Like, oh, my God, how am I doing this? Like, because you're like a level 9,000. But that, <laughs> that is very fair. Now, back to TwitchCon. Okay. I'm, I'm, I see Lost Ark here. Yeah. And there is a very big Lost Ark. I haven't got a chance to check it out. It's yeah, like there's a, a, a huge big, Mococo scene. Yeah. I saw that downstairs, yeah. Ha have you got a chance to, to go in there, yeah. test it out? Yeah, I got a chance to go down there and talk to some of the guys. Sai is a community manager. He's a very nice fellow that I met. I knew nothing about Lost Ark. And then it came out, and I was like, man, this game is fun. And I, I started playing a lot off stream, and, like, I would do stuff. And then now, like, I'm, I'm so just, like, playing on stream. Because when a game is fun and you could just spend hours in it, yeah, like, you, I could just go live with it. And that's how I started streaming. So I was like, okay, this brings back fun again, too, like, in a different way. Because everything, like, fills a different void. This is true. Yeah. Like, I know people that play certain games just because, like, it fills their – they need to be, like – a collective guy. He needs to have everything, right? And I I kind of got, got drawn in and lost heart because of that, too. There's, like, these Mococo Cs everywhere, and I'm like, okay, I need to get all of these. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. EK, I learned from you where if you like it, you love it, and you are ten toes in, and that's actually pretty cool. In a world where everybody's bouncing from one thing to another, you, you do you. You find yeah. what you like, and, and, and you make it happen, and I love to hear it, all right? Thank you. For no hanging problem. out yeah. and, and letting me be petty and talking about, you know, multiverses. You, you got it. You got it. <laughs> but before before we let you go, though, let everybody know where they can find you. If you have anything going on here, anyone watching that is here, want to check you out. Okay. You can find me at twitch.tv slash I've been working on my YouTube as well. So YouTube.com slash Equagan and TikTok. And uh, actually, my meet and greet is tomorrow from 2 to 3. Oh. So hopefully the line's not empty. You heard it here. Hey, we'll yeah. be there right if we can. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll throw it out. All right. Taco awesome. Bell be there. Lost Ark, everyone. <laughs> All right. You know what it is. Thank you, Quaggan. Thanks for hanging uh, no out. Problem, appreciate man. it, man. Thank you. Be easy. I appreciate it.